Hello, welcome back everybody. It's been a while since we've done one of these, so I figured it was time to go back to some of our flipped grammar lessons. Uh, and in this next set of grammar lessons, there's going to be three of them. We're going to be talking about verb tenses. Uh, so we're going <clears throat> back to verbs, the workhorse of the sentence, the word that tells us what we are doing or in what state we are doing. When we're talking about tenses, we're talking about really two different things. So in our sketch notes, which looks like this, we're going to be filling out this entire grid with um, our different, different verb tenses. But really, verb tenses are used to convey or show different times, sequences, states, and conditions. So on the, the left-hand side, where I made it sideways, definition of verb tenses on slide one goes here. Try to make that easy for you. Really, verb tenses, different verb tenses, they show different times, so past, present, and future. Sequences, like when things are happening, the order things are happening. States, that's like that state of being. Remember the verb forms of be, and then all con also conditions along with that. So for our sketch notes, in this first, uh, first video, we're going to be looking at simple tenses. So for each section, past, present, and future, simple, uh, there's two sections for each block of the notes. When is it happening? And then a sample sentence, which you will see. So you can use any of the sample sentences from this video or one that you see afterwards. So again, we're gonna be focusing first on the simple tense. So simple verb tenses. So each verb can be, we are gonna be um, categorizing it by simple, progressive and perfect, but also past, present and future. So we're gonna start with simple past. Now past tense verb tell about an action or something that has already happened. Hence, the past. So Ben gave me a pencil. The girl walked to school. We sang at the concert. So for our first section of when this is happening, this will be put an action that has already happened. The present verb tense tells about an action that is happening right now in the present. So a simple present verb would be Mark eats the apple. When is Mark doing that? Right now. She is a good student. When is she a good student? Right now. And then Kay climbs the tree. That's showing that this is something that is happening right now. So a simple present verb tells an action that is happening right now. And then a simple future tense verb tells about an action that is going to happen and it uses the helping verb will. So that is an important part. It's going to, you're going to see, if you see something that has the helping verb will, then that is a simple future verb. For instance, Hank will pet the cat. When is he going to pet the cat? Well, in the future. So Hank will pet. She will find a seat. Lynn will buy a bike. So each of these are future actions, something that is going to happen in the future, but it uses that helping verb will. So undo that. So if we look at our um, our chart, simple past, and a sample sentence for that, Ty visited K yesterday. Simple present, Ty visits K, because that's something that's happening right now. And then what do you think that the simple future will be? Well, remember, it's going to use the helping verb will. So Ty will visit K tomorrow. So simple past, Ty visited. Simple present, Ty visits. Simple future, Ty will visit. So for this first video, all I want you to do is to go into your sketch notes and fill out for each one, when is it happening and a sample sentence. So 
Simple past, occurring right, occurring before. Simple present occurs now. Simple future occurs in the future. 